So finally, we have the announcement for Yash's next film, Yash 19. It is with the director Geetu Mohandas. The wait was so long for this. There's also a Ramayan film where Yash is supposed to play Ravan. That is still not, you know, confirmed anything like that. It's just a rumor yet. But we finally have a release date, which is 10th August 2025, I guess. And it's called Toxic. So the title is revealed in the thumbnail all itself. And it's called a fairy tale for grown-ups. And I can see a silhouette of Yash holding a kind of a, what, Tommy gun, I think it's called. I've played some games. So let's see what is rocking star Yash up to. Joker. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's a production, okay. Monster mind creations, all right. Please don't be just visuals. A ticket to a, maybe, okay. There he is. Oh, I like this music. All right, he's going with the beard look, huh? Very interesting animation, huh? Okay, chaos is a man you want him back. Toxic. Okay. Intoxicating the world on 10th April, right? 25. All right, so very, very, okay, first of all, this was like the animation and effects looked amazing, but yeah, they didn't give away much. It's just called toxic. And I think if they've done a good job that if people find the film toxic or don't find, they will use the word toxic. Some people love to use that word, but very, very interesting choice of the director because the previous film the director did was Muthun with Niveen Pauli. It was a Malayalam film, very different, like it was, I really liked it, but I think the second half was kind of stretched and all. You can check out my review on the main channel. But it was a very different kind of film making. And when I heard that his next film will be this director, I was not sure, like, what is he planning? He's going very different because after KGF, you'd imagine he'll do much bigger film, you know, uh, more macho-ness and, you know, just all of that. But this also looks like similar, but it will be directed by a female director, which you don't... I think don't get much because always male directors making such big alpha male films. And here we have a female director. So that is very, very interesting. And I think that's a great choice to do something different. And I like that Yash took his time to see where he want, what he wants to do next, where he wants to go with his stardom and what kind of films he wants to make. Because, you know, after you've done a, such a big film, you want to go with the more established director, work with bigger directors. But he has chosen someone, a very well-known, critically acclaimed person, but not like well-known in the masses for massy films. So I'm still not sure if will it be massy or will it be stylistic in nature. It's called Toxic, a chaotic man. So I think they are going in a gray area kind of character. It's open for theories, you know, you can create your theories. What's about, what's the music used, why this shot, why that shot, all of that. I like that he's going with his beard. I think he has not, still not trimmed it. And you know, whatever the film will be, the whole India is waiting for it. Because after KGF, he has become a pan-India star. Everyone knows Rocky, by everyone knows Yash. People who like KGF or not, they know him. And this definitely excites me. But what about you? Let me in the comments below. And then you can check out this reaction and I will see you next time.